What are some of the lessons Australia could learn from the British shipbuilding experience? You've been building a lot in recent times with aircraft carriers and that sort of thing. Are there any dangers that you can see when a nation embarks on a huge project? We've got a lot in common in terms of our approach to shipbuilding. As you know, uh, we're going through a period where we're really re-equipping our Navy. So we're um, spending over the next decade some £178 billion in terms of defence equipment and within that budget are uh, many new ships and submarines and so uh, just like Australia we're going through a real process of recapitalizing our navies and as we do that I think there's a lot of experience that we can share together. What could that say about Australian and UK relations if we were to go with the Type 26? So um, with the Type 26 anti-submarine uh, frigate, um, obviously it's regarded as an absolutely leading capability and, and we're about five years ahead of Australia in terms of that build programme. So we cut steel on the first of those eight frigates uh, this summer. And what that means in terms of uh, Australia considering it is that it substantially de-risks uh, that whole uh, process of building a cutting edge capability because someone else is uh, five years ahead in terms of that build program. Your colleague Boris Johnson has talked about while he was in Australia about sending, in his words, colossal aircraft carriers to the South China Sea. Can you envisage Britain doing more in the South China Sea in the coming years? And would you expect to be alongside Australia? I think it is really important that uh, as we work together um, with other countries in terms of keeping our sea lanes open, um, that we are able to um, project that, uh, that naval capability uh, into other parts of the, the world.